Hello everyone, it's Julian from Buncee here, and today what I'm going to be talking to you about is one of my most favorite additions to the Buncee platform, the Ideas Lab. If you're looking for inspiration to get started with a lesson or an assignment, and you don't know where to start, the Ideas Lab is a great place to go to. It ranges from activities, resources, templates, and classroom ready examples that you could use. And the great thing is that a lot of the ideas that are featured are across many different grade levels and subjects. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you scroll down the Bunty Ideas Lab, here's where you will find all those amazing ready to go class assignments that you could use for your classroom. One of my favorite things about the Ideas Lab is a lot of these Bunties are submitted from fellow educators. They have created these lessons for their classroom and have found success and they shoot it to the Ideas Lab to help other educators in need. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at an example from Michael Drezik. It's practice math skills with this madness. If you want to see how this Buncee looks, you can click on this button here to toggle through it and you can read the description here. If you want to save this Buncee for later, you can click this bookmark button. And also, if you want to recreate this for your classroom or keep it as is, you can click the Create This button and then the Edit button and it'll add it to your Buncee dashboard. Back here in the Ideas Lab panel, we're going to dive deep into filtering. On the top is where you will find your bookmark section. So if you see any Buncees that you like but you want to use for later, you can bookmark them. And then you can also filter by subject and grade level. In the subjects drop down, you can find the wide range of subjects to choose from, from STEM to math to even at home that could be very useful for remote learning. For our example, we're going to choose English and then we're going to navigate over to the section where we choose grade level and we're going to choose middle school. And that'll show us which middle school English assignments are on the ideas lab. You could also apply as many filters as you would like to find which idea you're looking for in particular. That's a little bit about what Ideas Lab has to offer. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out and thank you for joining us today. Bye everyone.